Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my video. It is a beautiful day. Look at that giant pumpkin over there. It is about 70 degrees and it's only 8 a.m. Love that. And I'm taking Dale for a little walk before I go up to the farm. I just know it's gonna be a great day. It's gonna be a great video. So thanks for watching and subscribing and let's go. Welcome to our brew barn. So cool. And in. So I don't know if you guys knew this, but my bridal shower took place in here oh, two weekends ago. It was a lot of fun, but it's just crazy to me that my wedding is literally less than two months away. Crazy. But for those of you who haven't seen it, this is our brew barn and in the fall it's open to the public. I just wanted to show you guys around. But most importantly, I wanted to show you our new addition. Well, we have a lot of new additions, but my favorite is this wall. Specifically this Longhorn right here. So these skulls, we got like a couple months ago from Skull Bliss. And if you guys saw on our Instagram, we are absolutely obsessed with this company. All of the skulls are hand carved and they come from Bali and they're beautiful. So let me show you a little bit of a close up. So as you can see, it's really big. This is a humongous cooler where we keep all of our kegs. And we thought it'd make a great addition to our new tap wall. But just look at the details on this skull. It is so cool. When I got the package, I was like, what is this? Because it was so big. And then I opened it up and it was this beautiful thing. So if you guys are like me and you like to decorate everything cow themed, I don't know, maybe that's just me. You can um, get one of these. There's tons of sales on their website right now. Check it out. We're going to put the link in the description if you want one for yourself, which I highly recommend. They're just a great statement piece for your home. And we even have a code so you can save even more money. It's NY50. I'll put that also NY50, as in New York, but NY. You get the point. Um, so get some money off. Get one of these beautiful skulls. You will not regret it. It's the best quality thing I've ever gotten. And just look at it. Can we just take a moment? It really did just make the entire bar. So if you want one again, NY50, um, link in the description, and you won't regret it. <laughs> pumpkin seeds to the shop. My dad said it's very precious cargo. Very precious. This is all the pumpkins for the year, right? Not for 60 acres. All over here. All in this Polaris. That, crazy, that is crazy. Precious, precious cargo. So it's Wednesday, that means we have check brush cows, and then I'm going to start my vaccinations. And then afternoon break, Claudia and I are going to record our truck talks, if you haven't watched that yet, go check it out. And then in the afternoon, I usually get back here around 1 to 2 o'clock, and I do um, our breeding program shots from 
then until 5, 6-ish, depending on how well it goes. If it goes well, I'll get done by 5. So here's my list to check the fresh cows. Fresh cows are cows that just had a baby within the past 30 days. So you can see most of them are under 30 days. I have a couple special needs cows that are above that, like 143, 279. You need to get out of here. You need to be dried off soon. Um, yeah. So you can see these are my special babies that need a little extra attention because I just had a baby and that's a big thing and I have to take care of them. So this is our freezer full of, oh, you can't hear me that well. Classroom. We put it in these bags and we freeze it. And they're in these buckets too. So in order to uh, activate these vaccines, you have to mix the liquid with the powder. And I don't really know all the science behind it, but basically when you do that, it activates the vaccine. So I give the BRV, I can't pronounce it that well. I know you guys told me to switch the mirror on my phone so you can read things and I haven't done that yet so I'm not even going to show you. But that's how you do that. And then the bottle is ready. This is the return alley so as you can see they wait here. They get milked way up there and then when they're done they come back down through here. So when they're done they can go back out to the barn. So we have unfortunately been having some problems with mastitis lately. So, as you can see, this cow got sorted out and she has red bands on her feet. That means she has mastitis and she's been treated with antibiotics. So any cows with red bands on their feet do not go in the tank. It gets dumped down the drain. Um, we took samples of the cows with mastitis. We found out the type of bacteria that's causing it. And our vet was saying that the bacteria that's whatever is from the bedding, which is really strange because we get fresh bedding brought in. We're thinking it's from the bedding because we haven't scooped it out in a while and like took out all the bedding from all the stalls. I don't even think we've done that in like a year or more. So instead we've been like layering on like fresh bedding on top and then like scraping it off the top, if you know what I mean. So we have to go with a mini excavator and get all of it out, which is a big project. And also in the summer, it's just hotter and more bacteria grows, so it's hard to avoid mastitis. Um, right now, I think we have around 10 mastitis cows out of our 500 cow herd, which I don't think is terrible, but I'd rather have it way, way down. This is the top of the milking parlor. This is my group three getting milked out. Hi, Lydia. They're like, what are you doing up here? Look how nasty it is. There's so many. Ew. Get out of here. No. Where are you even coming from? Look at all of them. So gross. It like gives me the cutie booty. So disgusting. Get out. Go outside. You don't belong in this tank. If there's any fishermen on here and you're wondering where to get some worms, don't go to your local tackle shop. Go to your local dairy farm and look in their water tubs because I bet they have a bunch. One of my favorite girls right now. She just had her first calf ever. She's just so adorable. Get going, girly. So, like I said, this is our turn alley and they're returning to their pen. Come on. I know. Hello. Shorties. Cleaning out water tubs may seem like a, I don't know, kind of not important job, but it really is because how much the cows drink directly affects in their milk production. And I've said it before, cows should be drinking at least a bathtub full of water every single day, sometimes more like in this heat. Um, so when the Trogs are like dirty and yucky. The cows don't really want to drink out of them. I've seen it before where they prefer different water troughs. So it's super important to keep them clean to encourage that drinking water thing that in the end produces a lot more milk. 
Here's Daisy. Hey, girl. How's your morning going? Good. She's like, why are you bothering me? You're so pretty. So the crop people are starting hay. Well, they actually started it yesterday. And that is super important to me because, well, everything they do is important to me because it feeds my cows. And I will show you what they're eating. Right over here, right here, it's called total mixed ration, TMR. Everything in here is stuff they have harvested. Corn silage, haylage, you name it. It's in here and we grew it. We do buy in a couple things like vitamins and minerals, um, but most of it is in-house. Stephanie cleaned out the bedding pack for the hospital pen and the maternity pack. Um, this morning, like she got here like four in the morning to do it. So she's awesome for doing that. And it makes it so it's not as hot for them. Like this is really fluffy straw. We don't like to get it too packed down in the summer because then bacteria grows and it's just really hot for them to lay on. I normally always wear gloves when I'm taking fresh cows, but something came over me today. A little scared. Yikes, so we're looking for more, anything under 103. She's gonna poop, so that was like a 104. And she smells really bad, so I'm thinking she has a retained placenta. Giving this tiny, tiny pill to 6205. It's for all of our moms that are three to four days of milk and it helps them get off to a good start. Now I'm going to be doing the vaccinations for group 3 while they're locked up. So there's only three that were locked up, so that must mean the rest are laying down in the back, I hope. If not, I don't know where they went. So I'm walking through the barn, right? And my aunt comes over. She's like, Evelyn? I'm like, what? And then she's like, want a piece of candy? And yes, I do want a piece of candy. I just love eating candy in the barns. I feel like I told you guys that before. It's just such a nice experience. I always like to take a moment and hang out with my favorite cows. This is Raina. She is eating. She doesn't care about me right now, but I care about her. Looks like I came just in time, I hope. I'm going to quickly move her up to the calving pen. I hope that calf is fine because it's definitely one she's been down here, so. I've honestly never seen a bag that big on a cow. I don't know if it's genetics or what. Okay, I helped her push a little bit, or not push, pull a little bit, and I got it past the head. Now just past the shoulders, we'll be good. I'm letting her push on her own for a little bit. Guys, I would like to update you by saying I'd help deliver a healthy calf. I mean, you did most of the work, Mom. So I'm gonna let her do her thing. 
She looks to be a protective mama. We don't have those a lot. Good job. Look who it is. You stomped your foot at me. Come here. Hi, buddy. Mm. Oh, okay. Yes, go back in the barn. Come on. <laughs> no wonder you can get out. Got my stuff to feed the new baby. The calves are in that had escaped. Let's go take a look. I haven't even looked at your gender yet. Look at you. It's a boy. This little guy is a beast. The last step of feeding a baby is dipping them and this will help prevent that's not blood that's iodine and it helps prevent them from infections in the navel you have to put that on there it doesn't hurt them it just helps them that's all it does help and then i mark their head this crayon works eee! <laughs> so that they the next person that comes in knows that he was fed Blew it, bud. This is your new home. Oh, wrong way. That's how we feed a new calf on our farm. A new bull calf, I should say. The heifer calves get a little bit more things, like vaccinations and such. But that's how we started. We pride ourselves on having a very good success rate with all of our calves. I would say our death rate is 1% or less. And I feel like that's pretty good. Here's my little bug. He's learning how to walk. Hey, buddy. Also, if you guys are thinking about getting uh, side by side, go with Polaris. I have ridden in many different types, and this one is the best. Also, random fact, these are very comfy. They're very squishy. I just love how this thing runs. It always starts, don't worry. And I just love it. So if you're looking to get one, Polaris is where it's at. I grabbed that milk replacer. We've been putting milk replacer into the pasteurized milk taxi um to help bring up the solids because the milk we're getting from the cows which is in here the milk taxi um it doesn't have enough solid contents for our babies to fatten them up and look hearty so we add this milk replacer to help us do that This is the field I'm getting married in. Oh, no. <laughs> just it off. What are you doing, dude? You guys are crazy, crazy. Oh my lord. Yeah, I'm taking them for, for a run before my second shift. But this is the field I'm getting married in. It's gonna be a beautiful barley field. Before I forget to record my ending, I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching. Um, subscribe if you haven't. I really appreciate you guys all that are interested in my life here on the dairy. It's a really busy time of year and I love taking time out of my days to make these videos for you guys. So have a great day.